Welcome to this week's Step by Step. We're doing things a little bit differently this week. We're still doing a step by step project, but it's today's Christmas in July at our store. So we're going to do things really quickly. I'm going to do this little chair. So it's a little project. And we're also going to do, uh, we're going to use silk all in one mineral paint. So you're going to see that there's only really one step to this whole thing. So I'm going to start by cleaning. So I guess there's two. But I'm just going to use white lightning and I have it diluted in this spray bottle. Just going to give it a spray. Make sure we get it all. And wipe that down. You can also ugh, You can also put it in a bucket. But I'm kind of a you know, quick and easy type of person so this is my preferred method of doing it and I really am trying to demonstrate how quickly this process can be done okay so there's that part of it and then the second part of it is the same thing only we're using just straight up water we're rinsing it and I also keep the water in a mister bottle and then that way we can do the same quick method of just spraying and wiping okay so the next step we're going to take a sanding sponge and we're going to do what's called a scuff sand that is so easy and this is all there is to it and it's a good thing we're doing that because there's a little bit of um like dried uh the veneer or whatever not veneer um like the varnish that was on here it was a little flaky so we're just getting rid of that and it just helps the paint to adhere a little bit better and that's all there is to scuff sanding we don't need a big sander these sanding pads are great because you can flip them and just wipe off the dust Okay, that's all there is to that, and now we're ready to paint. We're gonna be using Silk's all-in-one mineral paint in Cape Current. I love this color. And I've already used some of this, so this is gonna be probably more than enough for this project. And I am using a Dixie Bell uh, mini angled brush when I paint chairs, I typically don't start with a seat, so not sure why I did that. Let's go under here and get a little bit of this detail stuff. This is a pretty simple chair, and you can see already the beauty of this color and just the coverage is awesome. But it gets its name because of the silk finish that it leaves. Now we can flip this chair later and get anything we missed. See, it's looking good already. Let's turn it around and flip it a little bit. Oh, we missed some stuff. That's always important. You want to get those little guys out of there little tape and a few little you know those fun little uh, puffy spider things <laughs> not my favorite Brittany's filming for me she works in our store and they're definitely not her favorite I know that Yeah, a lot of times I will flip a chair to get 
the part underneath, but I didn't do that this time. I just want to show you how fast this goes, so I guess I was anxious to get to the start. Um, if you are interested in purchasing Silk or any of our Dixie Belle products, um, just check the description box. There's an affiliate link in there. That means you order directly from Dixie Belle, but you use my link. That means I get a little kickback. So it doesn't cost you any more, but it just helps my small business, and I sure do appreciate that. So like I said, we're getting ready for Christmas in July today at our store. Today is July 24th. And uh, if you're watching this at four o'clock, then Eastern time, then you know that. Um, we have all kinds of fun extra stuff in the store that we don't normally have in July, some Christmas items and decor. And it's a great way for people to get a jump start on Christmas shopping, so they're not so rushed at the end. I think this Christmas is going to be a really special one because last Christmas was a little bit difficult for people that couldn't uh, get together with their family and friends. So this year, you know, maybe the person that stops by to visit, you might want to have a little gifty for them. So <laughs> I'm just going to check underneath here and make sure we're getting everything like i said it's easier if you flip the whole chair to start with but we will adapt so see those little runnies um you have to make sure you get them with with your brush with silk paint when you use chalk paint um, our re regular uh, chalk mineral paint if you have that, you can pretty easily just kind of scrape it off with your fingernail and move on or use some water and reactivate the paint. But silk's a little bit different, so um, it'll dry hard like that, and you don't want that. Um, this paint kind of dries like nail polish. In other words, it dries from the top down. So um, it'll dry hard and then you think it's dry and then it's not really. It takes 21 to 30 days to completely cure, but you certainly can add transfers or um, do anything else you want to with it before that. Usually just let it sit for a day and then you can add your transfers or whatever. And you know, I usually just wait a couple hours because I'm impatient. But I absolutely love the silk. My customers love it. I sell a good bit of silk, probably more so than the regular chalk mineral colors, I would say. But I feel like there's a place for both of them. Definitely in my world anyway, because I like to do some of those fun finishes where I do a lot of texture and I add, you know, patina and all that stuff. So um, definitely fun to play with the regular chalk mineral colors. And you can blend silk. You just don't use water. And honestly, I haven't done it yet. So that's gonna be soon. Um, I'll probably play with it a little bit before I do it. Um, but sometimes if you visit me on Tuesday talk, um, on Tuesdays, I'll do something I've never done before live. So I get to, uh, you know, bear my soul in front of all of you, so. It's always fun. Well, we've had some train wrecks on there. <laughs> More so my filming or internet mishaps as opposed to the paint. Dixie Belle usually never lets me down. Okay, well, I'm running out of places I can touch underneath. Okay, we'll do that. We are almost done with this first coat. And one thing I like to do, and we'll probably need a second coat just because the, the chair was kind of dry. The texture of it wasn't that great. You can see all the grain in there. Um, this paint is self-leveling though, so your brush marks absolutely disappear. 
see a few spots in there I missed. And you do want to kind of keep your brush loaded. Um, when you paint with chalk mineral paint, sometimes you use just a little bit and you use a little water to kind of stretch it. But with this paint, you just want to have a good brush full. Always use a synthetic brush. And of course, Dixie Belle brushes, in my opinion, are the best. When I have classes, I have them paint with one brush and then switch to a Dixie Belle brush. And hands down, they prefer the Dixie Belle brush. All right, ta-da, we have one coat done. So we're gonna come back and give it a second coat. Now we're just putting a second coat, very simple, on top of the uh, chair. So with me, because I'm always in a hurry, my second coat, very often, I don't completely undercoat the bottom. Let's face it, this is a child's chair. So, you know, your kids may lay on the ground and look up at it, but <laughs> it's not one of those things that you need complete coverage on. So I'm focusing on the main areas and just making sure that we have good solid coverage. What a difference that second coat is making on the seat of that. You can see that the, um, the texture of it is improving already. And I know I drive people crazy when I paint, especially people that are filming me, <laughs> because I jump all around. <laughs> and that's just kind of what I do, but um, it makes sense to me, so that's why I do it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm very methodical, and other times I just kind of move all over. All right, I did get the back, no I didn't. Okay, we'll try to be methodical and do one side at a time. Kids chairs are always fun to paint. Let's face it, anything that involves kids is fun, right? Except when they're crying. It's not fun. This is a great project. A lot of times you can see these at yard sales, little kids' chairs, because like sometimes they're just old school chairs. Um, and these are great projects to, you know, try your chops on and uh, Get your feet wet with a painting project. It's quick, and if you mess it up, you know, paint it again. But it's been my experience that there's not much you can mess up with this paint. The only thing I tell you is um, just to be careful not to get globs. <laughs> That's the technical term. Um, it has a built-in sealer and primer, so that's why we're getting such beautiful coverage. Now, if you're painting a piece of furniture that has, um, it's either like cherry or, you know, or you're using a white to paint it, you might want to use Dixie Belle's Boss first um, to give it, to give it that uh, first coat, even though it has primer built in. See, every day, never, never fails, but uh, I clean up nicely. But anyway, Boss has a built-in, see, there's a glob. We don't want that. Um, so that way it blocks the tannins in the wood that make bleed through. Okay, so again, I'm not really focusing underneath here. I'm just looking at anything you can see. And that's it for our second coat. So there you have it. We did two coats of silk and we're completely finished. So normally step by step, how easy was this? All we did was clean it and we gave it two coats. So step by step, 
there's no steps. It's just paint it and you're done because it's completely primed and sealed and beautiful. You can do more to it if you want. You can certainly distress it. You can stencil, you can add transfers, whatever you want. But today we're keeping it simple just to show you how simple it is to use Dixie Belle Silk all-in-one mineral paint. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at LaVintageDecor.company and on Instagram we're LaVintageDecor and on Facebook we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well.